Hello everyone, Linda Israel here sharing another January creative prompt with you. Again, if you haven't been watching and you're just finding out about these creative prompts, you can go back and see the other videos. They're all in a playlist that says January creative prompts. You'll see it at the end of this video. You can also go in the description box down below, click show more right below this video on YouTube, and you'll see all the information there where you can join us in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group event where you can and share your take on each of the prompts and if you have not been watching me then why not subscribe like this video and share it with your friends and of course if you have any comments or questions you can do that below check the description box also for links to my social media connectors like my Facebook page my Instagram Twitter those types of things as well as my blog all right, so today, January the 12th, we are to create a journal page around your favorite flower. Journal about things that you love about that flower, such as why is this your favorite flower? Does it remind you of something or someone? Get that out of the way. So my mother, I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, that she lived with me she loved lilies she planted this lily it's near a rose bush that i have in my backyard and it bloomed at first and then it didn't bloom very well and then it bloomed beautifully this last year because we had so much rain so now i know this particular location needs a little bit more water and i took this picture this summer and i thought this would be a perfect addition to add to my page it is a notebook page out of a composition notebook so i thought i would decorate the whole page so i can have a little bit better because this is getting kind of bumpy back here my journal is not bound completely so i'm just going to pull out this page and i'm going to set my journal aside i'm going to go ahead and fold the page back upon itself so that i'm only working with the one side of the journal page and then let's decorate it so i've got here the boxed flowers i believe that's right boxed flowers is this one and i'm going to rotate it and I'm going to use this on my journal page. I've got fired brick distress ink and I've got one of these oval blending tools. The stencil is one that I made. It's in my shop. I hand draw my stencils. Then I edit the image to be a cut file so we could cut it on our laser and it's with a mylar type material. It's not plastic and it's like plastic. A plastic does not work in a laser because when you look at a plastic the first ingredient is like a chloride and we can't heat up chloride it's dangerous so i'm going to go ahead and grab this and go just about the outside i'll do a little bit darker on the outside and then i'll kind of fade into the inside a little bit so i've added a little bit of distressing all the way around i love the way that stencil turned out the next thing I've got is, this is another one of the textured edges, and I thought it would be an interesting texture to stamp on here. So I've got my Archival Ink Jet Black, and what I'm gonna do is gently stamp this around the edges. Just a little bit of texture. So I've added that little bit of texture around here. I've got this uh, label duo this is the second label I've used the other one in a couple of pages so I'm going to use that one on this page and I think I want to put it yeah I'm going to put it up here at the top like so yep I think I like that I like the way that little banner looks I've got this little saying that says live life in full color I think I want to use that I think I'm going to go ahead and glue down the photo down here at the bottom and then I'll add this little sentiment across here. These are um, an inspirational words that I have in my shop. You can get them as a digital download or you can get them as a cut up pieces ready to go. All you gotta do is add some distress inks to the edges. All right, I think my journal page decoration is complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into my journal. 
my journal I said is not bound yet I'll bind it once I'm done that way I can do what I did pull out pages and work on them without having to worry about messing up my other pages all right so now we're supposed to write about journal about things that you love about the flower such as why is this your favorite flower does it remind you of something or someone so we're gonna do that and I'll be right back okay so write about our used favorite flower and why my mother loved lilies she lived with us and planted lilies all around my yard i've even added several and now have about a hundred lily plants in my yard every time i see a lily it reminds me of my mother i am so glad she planted so many in my yard because when i walk around and see those lilies i think oh my mom planted that one or if it's a new lily since she has passed away that I added to my yard I've tried to get some unusual colors I would think my mom would really enjoy this lily the colors the the size of it so it really makes me happy that I have them and I feel so blessed that she lived with me for a while and encouraged to plant them in my yard and planted many herself so that is day 12 of the junk January journal prompts creative journal prompts i hope you're enjoying these i hope that you're inspired to write in your journal your journals don't have to be perfect don't worry about if you mess up you know sometimes i have a little boo-boo like right there i kind of had a funky you know writing that's me that's who i am and i'm not worried about it being messed up because this is for me to enjoy and who knows maybe in the years to come my mother's other children's grandchildren will take a look at this and remember their grandmother a little bit again i don't hope you like this if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course comment if you have any questions thank you so much for taking the time to watch again now i go live on mondays at 3 45 p.m central standard time and again on thursdays at 12 30 p.m central standard time join us we have a lot of fun i laugh a lot i sing i hopefully inspire those that watch as well all right everybody we'll see you tomorrow bye <music>